Hello beer tubers and welcome to another beer review with me Peter the master of hummus today looking at some more Swedish beer from uh, well it's actually Swedish and Danish and kind of American because this is a collaboration beer between War Pigs co-owned by an American brewery and a Danish brewery Three Flies of Mikkeller and a Brewski over in Sweden. It's been a while since I've had a Brewski beer I just today went to my local bottle shop and saw it on the shelf it's like well, that sounds interesting, and I haven't had a Brewski beer in a while. Let's pick that up for a review. So, this, guys, is the Brewski and War Pigs Monday Every Day. 6.6% New England style Haze with Days, I guess, IPA. At least by the looks of it. <laughs> uh, but it says, yeah, it's it's got some, some descriptions here on the side, like a little poem. Like, brewers gather for their mashes. Hipster, hipsters wear flannel and glasses. 6.6% ABV, moderate destruction, oats and wheat into production, in the tanks the word is murking, sugar into booze is turning, this beer isn't meant to unwind, please don't treat it as refined. Cheers, yeah. <laughs> uh, so it's made with uh, wheat, oat and rye, but I couldn't find info on the hops. But I love Warpix, I love Brewski, I think this will be a tasty beer, a tasty beverage. So. Ooh, I could smell it from there. It smelled pretty nice. So I got the Monday Everyday Board, and that's a very nice, hazy, very golden, I mean, yellow color. It looks like lemonade in the glass. Speaking of, after this, I have a very lemonade -y, I think, beer to review. But um, yeah, it looks like, wow, just that head in the... I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't want to go too close to the camera because it doesn't have autofocus on. But the head right now, when I swirl it, it looks like a freaking cream puff. In the middle, it's just stuck there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's see. Let's try here and see if I can do it with the focus. Look at that. Let's see. Blah. Look at that. That little cream puff. And if I swirl it. Okay, that's that's the weirdest thing ever. I'm gonna pour into more beer. Look. Ah, fuck. Now I made it disappear. Nah, okay. Too bad. First, let's check out the aroma on Monday, air day. Ah, this smells pretty nice. Really lemon and limey. And sweet citrus. It's The wheatiness and the spicy rye shines through as well. Like a spicy but light kind of bready note. Almost like those kind of hybrid. Uh, you can get like buns in Denmark, which are like rye bread when you think of in Denmark, you think probably what Americans would think as this pumpernickel or something like that. But it's more like the lighter rye breads, kind of like you can get like buns that are kind of like dark brown, kind of these all grain type breads. It's, it's kind of that, just with some lightness to it in the breadiness. But then lots of that uh, lemon, lime, and sweet citrus it smells pretty nice and refreshing. So let's give the Monday every day a taste. Cheers, guys. Straight lemon and lime, <laughs> with some passion fruit thrown into the mix. This drinks like a 4.5% Session A IPA to me. This could get you like in big fucking trouble. Really nice mouthfeel, medium chewy, the breadiness. It's got a bit of a West Coast vibe to it as well, like a bit of dankness and uh, grapefruit, pithy grapefruit right now on the back end, with a nice bitterness that's not like crazy high. Quite carbonated actually. Mmm, really drinkable. Lemon lime really shines through. I'm getting tons of lemon and lime flavors, and even like pithy lime and lemon rind. And then rye, spicy rye is lingering on the back end with a bit of grapefruit and kind of like a grapefruit flavor. And there's a hint of passion fruit. It's, it's in flavor profile. It's actually quite West Coast, but with low malt, which is awesome. Uh, and then you get a bit of kind of juiciness to it as well because it does have some kind of a juicy-esque flavor like that kind of juicy citrus fruits and juicy a uh, little bit of uh, passion fruit but not too much of that but yeah, this is really nice really refreshing stuff I said I'm drinking this like it's a 4.5% session IPA or something super drinkable mm. so that's about it it's quite a simple I don't know how fresh this is either. I mean, I picked this up quite late. I think they've had it for a while. I just saw it and I didn't notice it last time. And I was like, oh, let's get it. But it's pretty nice. It's not my favorite beer from Warpinks or 
uh, brewski, but it's still a really nice IPA. So I'm gonna go straight 90. This is really nice stuff, really drinkable, really quaffable, super refreshing. Great after a long day of work. So, guys, if you had a chance to try the Monday Every Day by Brewski and Warpix, definitely let me know what you thought of it. And uh, as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, and Twitter, and Instagram, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I want to say cheers, and see you guys in another beer review.